All right, guys, let's check out the Orient World Map Revival. And this is the RA-AA0E04Y09B. So we're just going to call it the World Map. I'll put a link in the description. It is still actually available. There's a few different colorways of this one made, but this one's still available and it's on sale directly from Orient. Or you can actually go over to Teddy Baldessar's website. He's got uh, the same watch I found on the web uh, for like 460 bucks. So uh, it's not cheap for an Orient. I feel like it maybe could be a little bit less money, but that's already on sale. So it is limited edition. There's only 800 or excuse me, 1200 of these made. This is number 839 of that. So they're actually numbered on the case back and I'll show you that. But a very interesting, fun watch, fun colorway. Maybe it works for you, maybe it doesn't. Uh, case size, 43.7. Lug to lug, a short 46.5, making that 43.7 wear better. You have a single domed mineral crystal dial, or uh, crystal, excuse me, I don't know what I'm talking about here. And uh, 14 millimeter thick. You have the fluted upper bezel there. Pretty much a soft muted fluted. Muted fluted, is that a thing? Uh, and then you have a 20 millimeter lug with your bracelet tapers on the 18. Bracelet's pretty chinky feeling. It's not very like uh, fancy or high end or anything like that, but it gets the job done. Uh, only one extra adjustment there for the micro adjust. And here's a look at the case back. We can zoom in on this guy right about there. And you'll see it's all laser engraved, nothing fancy here. Limited edition 839 of 1200 made in Japan. Has the movement uh, information there. This is the F6922, the day date movement from Orient. And here's a look at the dial. So the dial is, according to the description, is from uh, 1969 world map. And then you have this inner rotating bezel here and you have like little arrows or kind of, they're weird looking, but they are arrows. And you would point those towards whatever time zone that you would be in. And that's how you would track your extra time zone. The biggest problem with this thing is this is not very stiff and there's not notch. There's no way to lock it down or anything. So this is bumped and moved easily. I mean, I wore this thing for like five minutes and it moved. So I wouldn't count on tracking that second time zone on this. Basically get this watch and wear it just for the fun colorway that it is and enjoy it in that aspect. Don't count on tracking a second time zone, at least for this particular example I have, which was loaned in by Mark, who is a uh, proud member of my Discord group and a guy that actually is instrumental in orchestrating the Baltimore watch meetup that I will be doing in July of 2022. So let's, uh, I think that pretty much covers all of that. Let's take a look on my wrist and then we will check the loom I don't know where the loom is going to be on this. Obviously the hour and minute hand, but here it is on my seven and a quarter inch wrist. Maybe this will help you decide if you want to purchase one of these. I mean, I've personally never handled a watch that looks quite like this. The, the dial is very interesting to say the least. And it, and it is a uh, somehow 200 meter water resist, but it's just a push pull crown. So you can do that. Um, actually, let's go all the way around, get a date change on it. And then for changing the day and date, you just pop it out one position and then you can change the day and you can change the date. Very simple operation. And then you push it back in and you can wind it in that position. So it is an automatic movement and you can hack and wind the movement. So let's kill the lights and check the loom on this thing and see what it looks like. Okay, yeah, I figured the hour and minute, and then they put the loom on the rotating bezel. So I'm not really sure. Oh man, that would be a tough one. I'm not sure I place too much value in that. I mean, you have the double bars there to indicate the zero or 24, but uh, I don't know, it's interesting. I think get it and wear it as like a regular watch. Don't really wear it as a uh, world time, in my opinion. Still fun. Thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you on the next vid.